You'll hear me talk a lot about building a better future for all residents of District 29B. It's my passion. And it's my belief that you can't have a realistic conversation about building a better future if energy isn't at the center of the discussion. As a state, as a country, and as a civilization that owes a clean planet to the many generations that will follow us, I believe we have a moral and economic responsibility to remove carbon from the energy sector. I, along with countless scientists and experts, believe the best way to do this is to rely heavily on wind, solar, and nuclear power. As a state, Minnesota is already a leader when it comes to alternative energy creation. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, over the last 10 years, we have cut coal-fired power from 53% to 31%. Additionally, Minnesota is near the top when it comes to nuclear and wind energy. Our local economy benefits greatly from Monticello being home to one of two nuclear power plants in Minnesota. Those two plants generate a whopping 24% of the state's net power generation. Equally impressive is that wind power has increased to 19% of the state's power generation, and community solar programs continue to rise in popularity. Both Governor Walls and XL Energy believe that our electricity can be completely carbon-free by 2050. With legislators who agree and believe in the value of that proposition, I also believe Minnesota can achieve that goal and help lead our country forward to a carbon-free future. Finally, it is important to highlight that renewable energy is a boon to job growth. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts that jobs for wind technicians and solar installers will grow by approximately 100% by the year 2026. These are stable, high-paying jobs for the many workers that are proud to call District 29B home. I commit to intensifying our efforts to create more jobs and have a cleaner, more viable Minnesota. Go with Joe.